I will finish with an introduction to our 15th finalist, who also happens to be just 15 years old. Venetia Umashanka, who's over there, from India, is the brains behind a solar ironing cart. With the potential to improve air quality by replacing charcoal with solar power for literally millions of street vendors. This is just one of her many inventions. She puts us all to shame. Venetia, we're all privileged to share the stage with you. Over to you. For the next two weeks of COP26, we will speak about our future. Deadlines, milestones, hopes and fears. I, however, am not here to speak about the future. I am the future. In 2030, by when we must halve our carbon emissions, I'll be just 24 years old. By 2050, when we will assess whether net zero has been achieved or not, I'll be in my early 40s. And by 2100, hopefully still going strong at 94. The point is that... The point is that me and my generation will live to see the consequences of our actions today. Yet none of what we discussed today seems practical to me. You are deciding whether or not we will have a chance to live in a habitable world. You are deciding whether or not we are worth fighting for, worth supporting, and worth caring. Many of my generation are angry and frustrated at leaders who have made empty promises and failed to deliver. And we have every reason to be angry, but I have no time for anger. I want to act. I'm not just a girl from India. I'm a girl from Earth, and I'm proud to be so. I'm also a student, innovator, environmentalist, and entrepreneur. But most importantly, I'm an optimist. Today I ask, with all due respect, that we stop talking and start doing. We, the Earthshot Prize winners and finalists, need you to back our innovations, projects, and solutions, not an economy built on fossil fuels, smoke, and pollution. We need to stop thinking about old debates because we need a new vision for a new future. So you need to invest your time, money, and effort in us to shape our future. Now, just before we started the Earthshot Prize, we all watched a video in which the former US President, John F. Kennedy, gave his legendary moonshot speech. And here, on the COP26 stage today, I would like to update that speech for the Earthshot Prize. We, the Earthshot Prize winners and finalists, choose to, by the end of this decade, to protect and restore our nature, clean our air, revive our oceans, build a waste-free world, and fix our climate. And we are the proof that the greatest challenge that the history of our Earth has ever seen is also the greatest opportunity. We lead the greatest wave of innovation that humanity has ever known. And we choose not to complain, but to take actions that will make us healthier and wealthier. And we choose to do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And rising to these challenges will shape a new generation, a generation that will build a better world for all of us and generations to come. And on behalf of the Earthshot Prize winners and finalists, I invite you to join us. I invite you to stand with us. And we hope that you will give up the old ways of thinking and the old habits. But let me be clear, when we invite you to join us, we will lead even if you don't. We will act even if you delay. And we'll build the future 
even if you are still stuck in the past. But please accept my invite and I assure you, you will not regret it. And finally, just remember, when it comes to climate change, there is no stop button. We can't hit pause or even rewind. We can only move together towards the future. So united we rise, and together we will definitely succeed. Thank you.